Hey guys, welcome back to my booth. If you've ever visited my Instructables page, then you'll notice I upload some animated GIF files in each of my projects rather than plain images for a better demonstration. When I decided to do this, I had to do quite some digging to get it right. Now making GIF files might not be that difficult, there are tons of applications for PC and smartphones to do that. But uploading it onto something like Instructables is a little tricky and that is why today I'm going to share with you the simplest technique I came across and use till date. To get started you need a video. I'm going to be making an animated GIF file from one of my videos because that's what I usually require. For this tutorial I'll be using my DIY flamethrower video which I did recently. Open up Google Chrome and type this in your address bar. video to -gif .com. You can also just click on the link in the description below which I've provided for you. You also have to note that I'm doing this using Google Chrome and I'm not sure if all the steps to follow will be the same for other browsers like Firefox or Internet Explorer in case you're still in the stone ages. I'm just kidding. Don't be confused by all the gibberish here. Just go with me one step at a time and you'll be done in a GIF. Click on the button which says choose file to select a video from your computer or if you have Google Drive then click here. I'm just gonna upload it from my PC. Once your video is uploaded, it will show up here and you can see media is active written below it in green. And yeah, this website supports most of the usual video formats like MP4, WebM, M4V, MKV, etc. They're mentioned right here. Now you can choose if you want to record a specific area on the screen from here. Just click on it and resize it accordingly. I'm gonna go with the whole screen. From the capture width column, you can select a resolution between 30 and 900 pixels. I keep it around 500, that's a decent size, not too small, not too big. The bigger you go, the larger your file size and that much more time it will take to load when watching it online. Now move the timer by clicking on it and dragging it with your mouse to the part you want to record from. You can even navigate the timer from here at smaller intervals to reach the perfect starting point. When you're happy with your position, click on the button that says use this time frame as starting. From here you can select how many frames you want to capture. I'm going to start with 20 and then I can change it later if I'm not happy with the result. Then select the time intervals after which a frame will be captured. I'm going to keep it at 50 milliseconds as 41.6 milliseconds is what your usual video plays at. The higher you go the more your GIF file will lose fluency and it will seem like it is lagging. Now click on capture frames. It will show you a preview of all the frames captured. Go ahead and click on Compile to GIF. It will make an animated GIF file which you can watch below. If you're not happy with it, you can go ahead and change any of the variables above until you get your desired result. Once you're done, click on Save to Computer or Google Drive. The Google Drive function doesn't work really well, so I'll just save it to my computer for now. In order to upload it to something like Instructables, the GIF file needs to be somewhere online, so I'll upload it to my Google Drive. I'll log into my drive, make a new folder saying flamethrower just to keep records. Click on new again, then file upload and select my GIF file. Once uploaded, double click on your file to open it in Google Drive and then click on these three dots in the top right corner. Click on open in new window. Now go to the new window and again click on the three dots in the top right corner. And this time you'll see a new option which wasn't there in the previous page. It says embed item right here. Click on it and it will display an HTML code. Select and copy the whole code. Now go to instructables.com and open up your project or start a new one if you want. In the image upload section, Upload your GIF file from your computer which you made earlier. It will show up in the image bar as a still image. Now is the fun part. Right click on it and click on inspect. 
As soon as you do that, a window will open up on the right side of the screen with some text highlighted. Right click on the highlighted area and click on Edit as HTML. Delete all that is there in the box and now paste the embed code you copied earlier from the GIF file in Google Drive. Now click on this little X in the top right corner to close this window. And you're done. Now go ahead and save your project. Now when you or anyone visits your project, you will see the GIF file playing among the still images, just like this. All this might seem like a lot of work in the start, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it blindfolded. If you know of any alternate or simpler techniques, do let me know in the comments below. This is my 50th video on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed it as much as all my previous ones. Don't forget to hit that like button below and share it with your family and friends. And subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. It's free after all. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.